Hi, I'm Dr. Blue Wolf, and today we're going to be talking about how to learn the basic metabolic panel, or the Chem 7, in under two minutes. Let's get started. First up is sodium. So since it's the first one on our list of ranges and limits, let's think about the character limit for Twitter, or at least the old character limit. The old character limit was 140 characters. So roughly, it's about 140 milli equivalents per liter of sodium. So the range is 135 to 145. Next up is potassium. And if you look on the periodic table of elements, it's abbreviated as the letter K. So if you make the OK sign, then OK, you're holding up the number three, the circle kind of looks like a dot or a decimal point, and then open it up five. So 3.5 to five milli equivalents per liter. And now you know potassium. Next up is chloride or chlorine. Chlorine always makes me think of swimming pools. You want to go swimming when it's a nice hot day. 95 to 105 degrees. So just remember, chloride, 95 to 105 milliequivalents per liter. Next up is bicarbonate. The prefix bi means two. So this is all about the twos. 22 to 32. You got that? <laughs> BUN or blood urea nitrogen. BUN can remind you, don't touch a girl's buns when under 18 years old. Because under 18 milligrams per deciliter is the normal lab value. Hey, 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 hey. We're talking about a girl's bun on her head. Get your mind out of the gutter. Creatinine is the normal breakdown of muscle tissue. So when you go to the gym and you're trying to do your reps, you try to usually do about six to 12. So remember, 0.6 through 1.2, 12. Lastly, we have glucose. Just think of it this way. If you pass the test, you get a lollipop, AKA sugar. They say C's get degrees, right? So 70 to 100% would be passing. So 70 to 100 milligrams per deciliter is the normal range for glucose. So there it is, there you have it. I hope it was helpful for you. For me, it was helpful to know the general reference range for these labs so I could quickly decide what was normal, what was not normal. I also got questioned on it while rotating through the hospital almost every place I went. Just know that every lab has slightly different normal values so as long as you know the general reference range or you know you have a set that you can remember in your mind, I think you should be okay. Let me know what you think. Good luck studying.